Hi there, it's Megan Lloyd with EO Movement, and today we're going to be talking about Scanner for Me. This is an app from your mobile device that's really wonderful. We paid, I paid five dollars for this, and it was totally worth my time. So what it is, it's an it's a scanner basically that you from your phone. I can't tell you how many times we've I've come across documents or other items that I wish that I could just scan in for my phone. And yes, everybody takes pictures of documents and that's, that works totally fine too. But this actually is a whole nother level where it will create a PDF of that document for you and it looks just like a scan. It's, um, it is straight and it doesn't look like a photo. It is actually in the right format if you need to send it to someone and it looks still professional. So this is really wonderful. So Scanner for Me, it's actually, you can find information about it at their maker's website, which is appalon.com, or you can just search Scanner for Me in your, um, <clears throat> in your app store. So all you do, you hold your phone over the, the, the document that you wish to scan, and even if it's crooked or it's, um, the lighting isn't great, it will, it will sense where the actual document is, and straighten it out for you, which is really the coolest feature, and it's very accurate. And so no matter how crooked it is, it, it figures it out. And all you have to do from there is once it scans the document, it saves it to the to the app. You can choose to send it to yourself in a multiple of way, a myriad of ways. I like to email it to myself or to whoever needs that document and then just save it to my computer or send it to whoever needs it. This is really wonderful if you're signing documents, but you don't want to go and, and try and find a scanner somewhere. Just take a picture of it with your phone through the Scanner for Me app and then upload it and voila, there you go. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Let us know if you have questions at support at eomovement.org.